Okay. Salt. And uh, this is pretty much it. Hey, I want to welcome you guys to this edition of Man Cave Technology. Today, we're going to be doing something cool. This actually is going to take a little while, but Ryan is over here. We have a million boxes that have arrived, and he is working on programming several things. The Ubiquity Network. Tell us what all you're doing, Ryan. We've so, got... I have a 48-port PoE switch and a small 4-base analogy NAS with a small little router and essentially setting up a small network. Oh, and then we have four uh, Ubiquiti Unify AC systems that I have to make all work together. So uh, we hope it works. Yeah, and this is gonna be pretty cool. This is actually uh, not for us, this is for uh, someone else. But basically what we're doing is uh, we're gonna put get all this system programmed and then just go out and plug it all in. Uh, Donovan's been hard working or hardly working over here. I don't know, but he's got a new desk why don't you show us this? We'll have to do a whole different video on this, oh, yeah. this thing desk. Is sick, man. I mean, look at this. I can go all the way like down. I can go up. I like it up. It's, it's cool. <laughs> how how down? How low does it go? Oh, it, it goes low, man. It goes low. Let's take it to the bottom. Okay, I think I'm gonna be Santa Claus today. I just put all these boxes in this trash bag, so I don't have to carry them. All right, so I look a little ridiculous carrying this box and this trash bag. That's full of Amazon boxes. People who wish to do me harm will think, hmm, that guy's just carrying a trash bag. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Vixia, which I have no clue how good this is. A couple of USB-C um, adapters. Got some USB string lighting. That's actually for something in the man cave. We got a, uh, another one of these. I already have one of these, but basically we're gonna try that for some streaming stuff. Cable, and I've already forgotten. Oh, this is uh, for the G7, kind of an endless battery. Two of the Blackmagic Studio Mini Recorders. These will take uh, SDI input or HDMI and output uh, Firewire, I wish it was, or not Firewire, that's so old school. Uh, I'll put Thunderbolt, I wish it was Thunderbolt 3, but it's 2. A bunch more adapters, dongles. We have... Alright, so we're back in the studio, and we've made some progress here. Went ahead and got the TV in here, and working on putting up some signs and some different things. Also working on some of the desks. We're gonna use two uh, X stands. You use these a lot for like keyboards, but they're really cool because they can go up and down. And what you can do is have the desk at different heights. So if you wanna stand, if you wanna sit, uh, and I'm actually gonna use two of these along with two tabletops to make different configurations. We also got this Behringer 1204. Uh, that we're gonna use, it's got four. We're gonna use this for the podcast. Uh, and live stream. It's got four uh, preamps, mics, mic ends, then it has a couple of stereo channels. Uh, we can put a computer or something like that on. But the reason that I went with this puppy is because we have USB out. And what we're going to do is take those in, mix them USB out like an audio interface into the streaming computer. And then from there, it'll just uh, leave and go out where it's going. So this place is just a disaster. <laughs> It was cleaned and now it's messy. I'm not really a fan, but if you wanted like a smaller laptop, you know, like 10 keyless or something, I think that you could put macro keys on there and it could be useful. Yeah. Um, I do have a touchscreen laptop, but I literally never use the touchscreen because I don't like smudges on my screen or anything like that. Right. But yeah, so you can just, so like, say I take. Um, it's looking like we could probably pull off a a two time, uh, sorry, a pass through on four channels. Okay. Um, what we'd have to do is we'd have to convert the XLR. Okay. Does this thing focus? I never know if it focuses, but that's good because today, in the middle of this vlog, I'm upgrading cameras. Yes, I just got the Sony RX100 Mark V. So we will magically go from this to this, which hopefully looks a little better and has a better quality to it. We'll see. 
but we're gonna try it out today and see what we think. I'm standing in front of my cool clock, uh, but because of the speed of things and the way that it works, it ends up looking bizarre on here because of the refresh rate and it ends up making my face look crazy. All right, so I'm in the office and this is exactly what I like to see, peace and quiet and work getting done. So I'm not going to disturb the good work that's happening, but I wanna show you guys what's going on in the old studio. We kind of left this uh, from where we tested the podcast last week, but the good news is I did, I decided that this blue carpet doesn't look that good. So I ended up finding these rubber pieces. These pieces are from Costco and uh, they're really nice. It looks, kind of looks like they're gonna do their thing. They just basically go together and they actually also kind of provide a nice uh, place to land your foot. But things are going good in here. My uh, only sad thing is that this tape is totally not going to, uh, to work, which I didn't think it probably would for long term, but I at least thought that I could kind of temporarily throw the stuff up. It is leaving this uh, residue, which I don't know, kind of looks cool, but Donovan was saying, which is very true, it's not going to look cool to have that everywhere. So uh, I think tonight he's planning on trying to clean this stuff up and we're gonna arrange the desk a little bit. Well, hey guys, I have to kick things off today with a little grilling. All right, so I have cleaned the grill. It is ready for, look at that, it is like perfect, brand new virgin grill. Uh, I'll actually do a review on this grill sometime. It's a Green Mountain Grill and it has Wi-Fi and all kinds of stuff. So uh, I'm gonna head by Great Clips before I go to the grocery store to get the meat and get like a $9 haircut or whatever they cost. Now we're gonna find some meat. cowboy hat walked up to the girl who was helping me at the deli and he said hun tell me where the uh, dairy stuff is okay so something simple that I like to do and yes I do wear gloves as if I'm performing some type of major surgery uh, when I'm working with meat because it is like a major surgery what I like to do for tri-tip which I didn't even know about tri-tip I think until I moved to the West Coast but this is a garlic salt. All right, so this week is Valentine's Day and my lovely wife has got me something. I really don't know what's gonna be in it. Making a little bit of progress. Huh. Whoa. The exotic meat crate, which is very appropriate considering I just did some grilling. Wow. Buffalo Bob's beef and ostrich stick. Buffalo Bob's alligator <laughs> stick. I have never, what in the world? Maple duck stick. Beef and pheasant stick. Original version jerky from jerky.com venison jerky oh venison what did i say here you said virgin dirty <laughs> virgin <laughs> <laughs> venison <laughs> jerky this thing's never ending alligator jerky jerky.com wild boar jerky and seasoned dry beef this is pretty freaking amazing that's a very good Valentine's Day gift. Well, that was awesome. I definitely did not expect that. And uh, the fact that I was grilling earlier in the vlog was completely unrelated. I had no clue, but what an awesome uh, coincidence. Does somebody want to fly a drone? All right, Houdini's getting all thug treed up. All right, so I'm gonna do a little drone flying. Uh, looks like something really bad happened to that bench. And Houdini is going to deface this public park before we even get started here. Dude, is that really necessary? Okay, 
Okay, so I'm totally hoping my my phone is in the car because I uh, kind of need it to fly the drone. My Apple Watch is telling me it's disconnected. Oh boy, that sucks. I don't have my phone. Okay, so my wife so graciously offered me the use of her phone. I'm attempting to download. However, I guess it's over 100 meg, and so it said that it probably wasn't gonna download. Okay, so I didn't intend to do anything with the uh, new camera I'm using, the Sony uh, RX100 version 5, but it does have a slow-mo feature, and since it is daylight, it's kind of a dark day, but and I'm outside, um, I thought maybe I'd just do a little quick test. Well guys, what a total failure on flying the drone. Uh, that's not cool, but the rest of the things that have happened were cool. I am stoked about the man crate and uh, the things that we have gotten done this week, especially with some work in the studio and all of that. So hope you have a great week and we will see you next week. Please like this uh, video, uh, subscribe if you wanna see more and uh, we're really working to build the man cave community.